Hello YouTube, look at this beauty I have here for you. That's a Pedersoli Sharp Sporting Rifle fitted with a Markham scope, a 6 power Markham scope. Excellent for, for some sniper job. I also have some black powder reloaded, 4570 cartridges for this rifle. And I would like to see what this cartridge does to a gelatin block. It's a Spitzer bullet, so I think it will not have quite such a great expansion, but we'll see what it does. But anyway, it will be fun. Follow me. The 4570 Pedersoli Sharp Sporting is an excellent rifle. The 32 inch barrel is a match grade PMG broach rifle barrel with one turn in 18 inches twist rate, so it loves the long and heavy bullets. The stock is oiled American walnut and the rifle is equipped with double set trigger system. These cartridges are mid range target cartridges loaded with 51 grains of 2F Swiss powder and the 520 grain bullet size to 458. When shooting black powder reloaded cartridges, be prepared for controlling the fooling through good quality lube and wiping the bore between the shots. The Sharps falling block breech is considered strong and reliable even today, so although this design is 150 years old, still makes a good choice for today's hunters and target shooters. The gelatin block is at 50 meters as usual. Only two or three millimeters, and you can see the mark of the cavity. It's a beautiful spiral as the bullet was moving through the gelatin block and it exited here without any problem. Okay, so the 60 centimeter long ballistic gelatin could not catch the bullet of the 4570 sharps. This is a 520 grain bullet and it was propelled by 50 grains of 3F Swiss powder, so it's quite a low velocity bullet. But check how nice the cavity is. You can see the spirals as the bullet was moving, moving through the texture. Uh, what, you really, what you can see here is, is very simple. It really just punctured a hole in the gelatin, so the energy transfer was minimal. But the penetration is of course... It was designed for shooting buffaloes, I think. So, so for that purpose, I think it is perfect. But from a modern point of view, the, Without the energy transfer, it's not the best hunting bullet that you can have. But still, it is surely capable of taking any kind of big game, I'm sure. In the next part of this series, we'll move forward to some commercially available smokeless hunting 4570 cartridges to see what makes the difference in the modern days.